What's good with it, Black Goose TV family, man? Double salute as always. Your boy Fluence Boxing is back in the building again with some more boxing news for my people, for my family members, man. As y'all can see, Chris Ubank Sr. is putting no blame on Connor Ben for the failed drug test vows to go after the promoters. What does this all mean? Obviously, by promoters, I'm assuming, you know, he's uh, uh, hinting at or he's directing his aim toward Eddie Hearn. Obviously, because Eddie Hearn was one of the main guys who was pushing for this fight to even continue. He was pushing for the fight to actually still take place even after the positive A sample. We got to be got to be specific on that. It is the A sample, not the B sample. The B sample has not been tested yet. Um, and as of now, we're not even sure if it's going to be tested. But, you know, Eddie Hearn was still pushing for this fight to happen with the A sample coming back positive with Clemaphine and Conor Ben's system, obviously Eddie Hearn has already admitted that this was known by both parties for two weeks. Um, as we know, Chris Ubang Sr. was uh, saying things, you know, uh, uh, to the point of boycotting, saying we should boycott this fight. This is how you know fighters get brain damage. This isn't right. This isn't just. A lot of people at the time was mocking him. A lot of people had a, a lot of negative things to say to uh, Chris Ubang Sr. A lot of people thought he was overreacting. A lot of people thought he was just talking out of his ass. Um, Conor Ben even had things to say. Conor Ben's trainer had things to say. Conor Ben's promoter had things to say. Eddie Hearn himself, like I said, had things to say. Uh, all negative. No one in in in, in, in uh, agreement with him. Agreement with him. I will say this: from when it comes to Chris Ubank's side, his team, he never really acknowledged the things that his father was saying, which tells me that obviously, yes, they did know. They did know for 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 over two two and a half weeks apparently about this failed drug test. So um, now, as you can see, uh, it looks as if Chris Ubank Senior wasn't the right for what he was saying. He wasn't the right for calling for a boycott. He wasn't the right for saying this fight should not go on. But it's very interesting to see that he's not putting any of the blame on Ben. He's defending him over the failed drug test, and he's, you know, and he's saying that he wants to come after promoters. Obviously, this is just a headline. This is all I'm reading. I don't know the details. We're going to get into details. So everything I just said is speculation. He may very well have some very choice words for Connor Ben when I read the actual statements when it comes to this particular article. That may be the case, but going off of just the headline, it seems as if Senior is having more of a problem with the promoters trying to make the fight happen rather than Connor Ben failing the drug test. That's what it seems based off of the headline. We're going to find out the nitty gritty. We're going to find out the details because we're going to read the article. Obviously, salute to BoxingScene.com. If y'all come up in here, man, show some love. Hit the like button below. Subscribe to the channel. If you're not part of the family, you already know what it is. Road to 5K, baby. We still working. We still trying to get there. I don't care what y'all say, baby. So show some love. Notification game. Comment on this joint. I need to know what your opinion is. Y'all already know what it is. Let's get it. Okay. So uh, here we go. It's coming. Chris Ubank Sr. says he intends to pursue some form of retribution against the organizers behind the now scuttled 157-pound catchweight between his son and Connor Ben. Ubank Jr., the longtime middleweight contender, and Ben, a welterweight, were scheduled to meet last Saturday at the O2 Arena, which was billed as a monumental generational grudge match. But a few days out from the event, it was real, excuse me, revealed by the Daily Mail that Ben had tested positive for a banned substance, clomiphene, a fertility drug. Soon after, the British Boxing Board of Control issued a statement refusing to sanction the bout. Promoter Eddie's Hearn, excuse me, promoters Eddie Hearn and Callie Sauerland, that's Ubank's uh, promoter, appeared intent on moving forward with the show. So it, it seems like I didn't know that. I didn't know that uh, Ubank's promoter was also intent as moving forward. I didn't really hear any statements from uh, from Sauerland. I did hear from Ubank. Ubank did, of course, want to continue to fight, but he's a fighter, of course. But I didn't necessarily hear that specifically from the promoter, but. Um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, appeared intent on moving forward with the show, but in the end, they decided to postpone the fight. And as you can see, uh, they do have quotation marks, quotations around postpone. Um, so uh, that means either the fight is going to happen later or it's not going to happen. So uh, let's keep going. Ubain Sr. has already made headlines for himself in recent weeks because he came out forcibly against the bout, citing what he felt was a dangerous weight cut for his son and he, uh, and seemed to suggest he would take legal action against the organization uh, or the organizers. Ubang Jr. was required to drop three pounds below the middleweight limit, something he's never done as a professional. Furthermore, Ubang Sr. refused to participate in any of the free of the pre-fight publicity. Unlike Ben's father, Nigel Ben, who did, um, and, and they're putting in this note. So, you know, last year Ubang Sr. did lose a son, Sebastian. Um, it's saying he died of a heart attack while on vacation. I, I think I believe he was he was swimming um or something like that, or he was saving somebody or something like that. It was it's, it's a lot more than that. Uh, so you, you guys can look it up. But uh, at the start of the fight week, Ubank Sr. called for a boycott of Ubank Ben, which is within that two fight uh, uh, or is, is within that two week period where Eddie Hearn said that both parties knew that Conor Ben tested positive for um, that uh, uh, PED. So ironically, Ubank Sr.'s sentiments have seemingly aged well. In a recent interview, he offered a scathing review of last week's fiasco and also indicated that he was coming for the managers and promoters who tried to greenlight the fight. 
man, I'm telling you, as much as people want to say, well, they, you know, a lot of people, regardless of how they feel about Ubang Senior, you know what I'm saying, man, I really applaud him, man. I really applaud him, man. He's, he's, he's stick like from, from day one, like he's, he's just been behind his son's corner. Even it seemed like from the outside looking, it's like you keeping him from the biggest payday. This is a great fight, but he's been in his son's quarter. He's fought for him and he's been right this entire time. And the fact that he's not even letting it go, man, that's, you know, that's that, that that's man, that's 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 a great thing, man. I love seeing that. But he said, You have Tyler's looking after the fighters. Ubang said on the fight is right podcast with host Tundia Jai and Spencer Farron. By the way, Tundi Jai lines the cap. Still hope you know one day, you know, I get you an interview on the on the, on the channel. But Tyler's these guys we call managers and promoters, these guys, I'm coming for you. You tried to more uh, excuse me, you tried to murder my boy. I'm coming for you. Yeah. Notably, Ubang Sr. did not have any animosity toward Ben. Instead, or indeed, the British boxing icon was downright compassionate towards the embattled 26-year-old, describing him as a clean man, implying that Ben had been taken advantage of by certain members on his training team. Interesting. When I look at a fighter, I look at the spirit in the man, Ubang Sr. said. Connor would have had no idea, in my view, of what they would say he, excuse me, suggest he should have PEDs. I've seen them do it. I've watched them. These are men who are going to be rooted out of this game because they're not fighters. They're PE, physical education teachers. I respect them but not when they're harming fighters because in my view, when I look at Conor Ben, that's a pure young man. I took Nigel. Don't come to these speaking engagements for Eubank Jr. versus Ben. There's going to be too much pressure on him because you let them lead your son into a pit, a snare. That boy is clean, a clean man, and a great fighter. So it seems as if so. Yeah, yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? The headline was right, and that's why I love boxing scene, you know, uh, .com so much. Usually, you know. And I look, I look, I, I get a lot of a lot of my news from Boxing News 24 too, but sometimes they be a little extra. Like usually I can't read an entire article from Boxing News 24 the same way I just did with Boxing uh, Scene. That was very clear, stay to the point, stay to the facts, you know, to the that was that was beautiful right there. But it it, it goes to show Chris Ubing Sr. is going strictly after the promoters. And it seems like he's suggesting, allegedly, that uh Connor Ben really didn't know anything was put into the system. Now he's basically telling me, or when I'm getting I'm trying to read between the lines, there's a possibility that. You know, some of the people you work with, work for, nutritionists, et cetera. You know, if, you're, if your team has a different plan behind you, you may not know what's going into your body if you don't have the research or the understanding of what it is. And then you end up finding out that's not something you should be using. Who knows, man? You know, I respect Chris Ubain Sr. Um, to the fullest. Um, I love everything he said in this particular article. You know, I, I want to watch that interview. So I'm like, I may do a reaction to that interview sometime this week because um, I would love to actually watch that in, in its entirety. Um, but you know, I applaud and I salute Chris Ubang Sr. So I want to ask y'all family, how do you guys feel about this? You know what I'm saying? How do you feel about the statements? He's putting no uh no blame on, on Connor Ben. He's putting it entirely on uh at the promoters, the promotions, his team. He's putting it even on Chris Ubang Jr.'s team, um, but not on the fighters. So that's interesting, man. Um, I got a number of respect for senior, you know. I understand where he's coming from. He's right all along. Father knows best, that's what they say. So salute to that. Let me know how y'all feel about the video. Let me know y'all opinion, y'all comments, all that good stuff. Drop it below uh, 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 in the comment section while you're doing it. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Show some love. You already know what it is, man. Uh, on the Orange Sports Nigga side of the game, man. I'll be back with more boxes. Stay blessed and stress. Double salute. Appreciate y'all as always. Uh, and much love, man.